the topic is folliculitis of the skull. Folliculitis is a condition where there is inflammation of the hair follicle and it can happen any part of the body. It can happen on your thighs, on the buttocks, on your chest, maybe on the skull. So if there is a folliculitis, there will be inflammation. Inflammation will give rise to pus, pain, redness and swelling. And that will also damage your hair follicle. So there are multiple causes which causes folliculitis on the skull. There can be greasy skull which causes folliculitis on the skull. There can be a, you know, uh, you know, if there is a hygiene issue, if there is no proper cleaning, there is no regular bathing, then that also can cause hair folliculitis. And there are some diseases which are internal and we cannot predict lymphocytic folliculitis and neutrophilic folliculitis which they give right to the ultimate damage, scarring alopecia or cicatricial alopecia. The treatment becomes very difficult there. So when you have got a folliculitis, you should you know, immediately consult your dermatologist, your doctor who checks the skull and all, and he will come to a diagnosis. And he might require uh, some examination, he might require some biopsy, and he will do it, and he will come to a, you know, a diagnosis, and he will establish a diagnosis, and he will treat the cause of the folliculitis. Mostly, they resolve with oral antibiotics, usually due to uh, some infection, bacterial infection, and sometimes there are some fungal infections also, then antifungals are also given and the patient is treated. If it is internal, if it is some chronic inflammation uh, like lichen plano pilaris, frontal fibrosing alopecia, pseudocolloid of rock, then in those cases, then there will be long term planning of the treatment and that in, if the treatment is successful, then the folliculitis will subside. And if the folliculitis has left behind a scarring, then we have to wait for minimum of five to six months of after the disease is stopped and if there is a scar and after if the scar is not active there is no active inflammation after six months and you have to see that with the biopsy then you can think of doing a hair transplantation on that scar if it is a small scar or big scar you can really think of doing a hair transplant uh, the trick is a little bit different you cannot plant more density you have to be careful about that but you can really grow the hair if you are an expert if you have done it then the doctor is going to really uh, you know grow the hair after six months of disease died off so this is all about folliculitis of the skull